Hello everyone. Welcome to you all to my today's 50 online session. In this session, we are going to revise chapter number one, where to read from. In this, all the topics which already I studied that cover. And after that, I am giving one assignment to you. So please complete it. First we revise the different type of shapes. Some figures have two dimensional are known as 2D figures. The figure which have only two dimension, two measurement that all figures known as 2D figures. For example, rectangle, triangle and square. Now some figures have three dimensional. Three dimension means they have three measurement length, breadth, sometimes it's a height or sometimes it's a depth. That all are known as 3D figure. For example, cuboid, cylinder, cube. These all are the example of 3D figures. We can say also plane figures known as 2D figures. A 3D figures have four different views. If you want to look out the 3D figures, then you can see the three different views. That is the top view, front view, side view and back view. You can't see 2D figure with different views because they have only two measurements. And we can show that all figures on a plain paper. That's why 2D figures not have views. Now let us see some example of front view. If you want to see the front view then we have to stand in front of that in front of any object. See here this is the mobile phone. This is the front view of mobile. Then this is bike which ride one person. These all are the front views example. This is the front view of car. Then this is the front view of door. If you stand in front of this door then you can see how it looks. So again I will tell if you want to see the front view then you have to stand in front of any of the object. This is the front view of chair. This is the front view of engine. And this is the front view of camera. So these all are the example of front view. Now let us see some more examples of top view. If you want to see the top view, then you have to just stand at some height to see that object. If you stand at some height, then you can see the top view of all the objects. Like front view, if you stand in front of the object, then you can't see the top view. If you have some height, then you can stand. But if your height, something is bigger in the height then you can't see the top view. So again if you want to see the top view then you have to just stand at some level, stand at some height. So see this is the top view of a plant. Then this is the top view of guest stove. This is the front view, top view of computer, laptop. This is the top view of a man when man is walking and if you stand at some level, at some distance, at some height, at that time you look, you look this type of top view. Then this is the top view of cup filled with coffee 
then this is the top view of sheep, bus, plane, car and this is the launcher. So these all are the top view of different different objects. Now let us see some more example of side view. If you want to see the side view then you have to stand by side of that object. So let us see. These are the example of side view. Horse, chair, this is the face of a man. These are the side view of different different object. This is the side view of elephant, gun, looks like this from the side view. Then this is the side view of car. Now let us see some more example of back view. If you want to see the back view then we have to stand at the back side of that object. So see here, this is the back view of different different objects. This is the back view of cat, mobile phone, These all are the back view. When you just stand back side of this object, then you can see the back view. This is the back view of a cycle. Then this is the back view of any of the person. And we can see the head. This is the back view of your bag. And this is the back view of car. Now let us revise the symmetry. What is symmetry? An object is said to be in a symmetry if it matches itself a number of times when we flip, side or turn it. When we flip, side or turn any of the object, if then both the side or the number of the number of times if that object we get the same part then we can say that object is in the symmetry an image which is like a reflection in a mirror that is also known as the symmetry mirror or a reflection symmetry divides a figure or any of the design into halves halves means half that are known as mirror images Sometimes patterns are also known as a symmetrical figures because in the patterns we have to repeat, we have to divide any of the shape into many a times. That's why patterns are also known as symmetrical figures but only sometimes we can say. Patterns make a mirror house also. In some of the patterns you make mirror holes means you divide that figure into two equal parts. Now here you have to complete the mirror holes. In this I am giving half to you and you have to complete that half. So here I am just giving this half to you and you have to complete that half. So what you have to do, you have to first complete this figure by here they were given one slanting line to you. So you have to draw one slanting line, then again slanting line, then inside that like this you have to complete. So this is the half portion of this mirror holes. So it looks like this. Then second one. So here you have to complete first circle and then outside it you have to complete that 
triangles. So it looks like this. These all are the mirror holes of the shape. Now here this is the mirror holes of a word. So you have to complete that word first. So it looks like C, then O, O and then it is a K. So it makes cook. Now second one, it looks like somewhat star. So just complete with the slanting, standing and slipping line. So this is the shape of star which we divide into two equal parts. Now again here it is one word. So the first word look like N, then O and then M again. So it becomes mom. Now let us revise the line of symmetry. What is the line of symmetry? If a figure is divided into two equal hulls, two equal parts by a line drawn through it, then that line is known as line of symmetry. If we divide any of the figure, any of the object, any of the shape by a line, but that line should be passes through its center, then and then, then it makes two equal parts. So that line which passes from its center that is known as line of symmetry. The line of symmetry can be a vertical, can be a horizontal or can be a diagonal. Diagonal means slanting line. But it is passes through its corner when it is a diagonal. There may be a one or more lines of symmetry. It is not necessary in any of the object there is only one line of symmetry. Sometimes it's a one, sometimes it's a two, sometimes it's a more than two lines of symmetry. And that all lines of symmetry are different from each other. And it passes through the different different angles. A vertical line. Vertical line means straight standing line of symmetry is that line which runs down an image thus dividing into two identical hulls. If you want to divide any of the figure by a vertical line, then vertical line means standing line. Then you have to pass that standing line from its center. Then you get two equal parts and standing line runs down. It means it goes down. A horizontal line, the second name of horizontal line is straight slipping line. This all are the line of symmetry is a straight line. And whenever you have to draw any line of the symmetry, you have to use scale. Because with the help of scale, you can draw the straight line. So horizontal line, the second name of horizontal line is slipping line. Of that symmetry is that the line that runs across. Across means not in a cross. It goes from one side to another side. The image is dividing into two identical holes. So whenever... You have to draw horizontal line, you have to draw straight slipping line and it goes from left hand side to right hand side whereas the vertical line goes from up to down. Whenever you have to draw vertical line, you have to start from upside to downside or downside to upside but if you want to draw the horizontal line, then you have to move from left side to right side or right side to left side. Now let us see few examples of vertical line of symmetry. If you want to cut, if you want to divide that shape, that object by a vertical line, then how we can divide? See here, vertical line means standing line. These are the object, these are the shape in this you can draw vertical line of 
symmetry in this picture also if you want to divide this picture into two equal half then you have to draw vertical lines of symmetry now another one that is the horizontal line of symmetry these are the shape if you want to divide these objects this thing into two equal parts then you can draw slipping line from left to right or right, right to left now few more example in which you can draw many line of symmetry not only one not only two but you can draw more than two or more than one line of symmetry see these all are the example of in that you can draw many line of symmetry thank you all of you i hope you like my work and also you revise this all topics very nicely so please complete your assignment